Hi ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you how banana tag works by giving you a, a real world working example and I want you to imagine for a moment that you're in the ice cream business. So I'm in Microsoft Outlook right now and I'm going to click on new email. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email to myself. I'm going to maximize this screen and I have this email right here in a tool that I'm going to talk about in another tutorial called template phrases my favorite piece of software outside of ACT. Now, having said that, I'm going to send an email to myself just to illustrate how this works. Tony at TonyTheTeacher.com, one of my email addresses. I have an email over here called Chocolate Vanilla and Strawberry. So, I'm in the ice cream business and I want to determine what kind of ice cream is your favorite so I can talk to you about it. I want to be able to have a conversation about it. Now, when I send this email, if you don't open it, well, I won't really know. If you do open it, I won't really know. If you click on any of these links, I really won't know unless I use banana tag. And banana tag is going to do a few things for me. One, it's going to tell me if the person on the receiving end of this email opens it. That's the first thing. And two, if they click on one of those links, chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry, I'll know. So I'm going to send this email to myself to illustrate how this works. So I'm just waiting for the email to come in. And once it comes in, there it is. Over here on the right-hand side, there's my email. So I've, in essence, opened it at this point. And wait a minute. Look at that right there. Tony Hollowood's favorite ice cream. Because I had opened it over here, I got an email from Banana Tag saying, hey, I opened it. It tells me the time and it tells the approximate location and it also gives you a little more information. That stuff is not as interesting to me. But where this gets sort of interesting to me is this. When I got this email, I could now click on one of these. So why don't we click on the strawberry link and let's see what happens now. Now I'm using this as an example. It took me to a page for strawberry ice cream. But let me take you back to my email, and I want you to notice that another tool came in. It said click notification. The first one was open notification. The second one is click notification. Now, when I look at this one, it tells me that I clicked on the link labeled strawberry. So let's talk about this for a minute. Whatever your product or service, be it ice cream, whatever it might be, imagine what it will do for your business if you can send out an email and have some knowledge of whether or not people on the other end open that email. Better yet, if they clicked on a link in your email. Now that link might have taken them to a page with a special offer for strawberry ice cream. Or I could try to interpret this in a way that says to me, well, you know what? Maybe they're interested in strawberry ice cream. So now what I should maybe do is a couple things. One, maybe I should pick up the phone and call them. Two, maybe I should send them another email. So the great thing about this is it has the recipient's email address right here. So if I want to react to this email, I can click on this to start a new email. So Banana Tag is a great tool for working with emails and trying to get feedback and understanding what is happening. The one thing that I will let you know is it is really designed to work in one-on-one -on -one emails. So when people are doing sales, a lot of times I'll talk to them about, well, you know what? Imagine this. If you had to make 100 phone calls today, how long would that take you? Probably take you the better part of the day. But if you had to come in with this tool and with that other tool that I briefly showed you that held the template called Template Phrases, which I'll review in another tutorial, all you have to do is send an email and sit back and wait. So you could come in easily within an hour, 90 minutes, send out 100 emails, even if you had to do it one at a time. And I'll show you how you can accomplish that. So now you send out 100 emails, and then you sit back. So instead of making 100 phone calls, send out 100 emails, and sit back and wait until people open them. And then when they open them, immediately, immediately pick up the phone and call them. Because they just told you two things. Either they told you they're there and they open the email, then they know what you're talking about when you call because they just read your email. Or two, if they clicked on a link, be prepared to call and try to talk to them about 
strawberry ice cream. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a little sales tool that I think can be very productive if done in the right way. Tony Hollowitz, have a great day. Banana tag. Bye now.